fast, gotta go fast, gotta go much faster. Faster, faster, faster. I gotta beat Kingpin's score. I gotta beat his 3D mark score. I gotta go fast. I'm gonna use these and I'm gonna go fast. I can go this much faster if I can. Let me see. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 ten. That's 255 hours. That's 9.18 times 10 to the 14th nanosecond. One week, two days, seven hours, and 26.4 seconds. Aren't you checking the emails I'm sending you? Emails? Emails slow. I'm not slow. I go fast now. Gotta go, man. Gotta go. I gotta play him. I'm gonna go faster. I did it, boss. I traveled one week into the future using energy drinks. By the way, I also got this, got the new iPhone. Here. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh, I got a score. Oh, yeah. Beauty score. I have tacos a lot. I did. So now that Agent Tiny came back from the future, to deliver the EVGA GTX 580, let's take a look at what packaging from the future looks like. So let's go ahead and open up the box. You can see right on top here, EVGA includes a full fold-out poster. Pretty cool little addition here. This is the EVGA gaming poster. There's also another poster that comes in a special edition Call of Duty box, which is also equally cool. Here's the manual. You can see inside the manual we have a quick start guide and the, of course the EVGA driver DVD and a case badge. And here it is, the EVGA GTX 580. Over on the side here we have a mini HDMI to HDMI adapter, a DVI to VGA adapter, and the necessary power cables if your power supply does not have the proper power cables to support this graphics card. In addition, EVGA is throwing in a free copy of 3D Mark 11 Advanced Edition. All you need to do is just register your GTX 580, and once the software becomes available, you will see the key on your My Products page. So let's get up close and personal with the EVGA GTX 580. So here's the card. You can see on the top side we have two SLI connectors. This will allow you to run both two-way and three-way SLI modes and even four-way SLI. Just like the GTX 480, this card has both 8-pin and 6-pin power connectors. So let's go ahead and take a look at the I.O. bracket on this card. This card has DVI, DVI, and Mini HDMI. And uh, like we said earlier, this card also has a Mini HDMI to Full HDMI adapter in the box. But the fun does not stop there. EVG will also offer a Hydro Copper edition of this graphics card, which gives you a full cover end-to-end water block. Also it has a back plate and this water block accommodates both half inch and three eighths inch diameter tubing. Also there is one more cool feature that I have to show you on this card so let's take a look. When you get this card up and running in a system you will see a nice EVJ logo on the side but this is no ordinary logo. This logo lights up so it looks really sweet in any case. So I think I'm just about ready to pop this card in. Let's go ahead and install this and see what kind of performance I can expect. So I'm going to run one of my favorite benchmarks. This is Heaven version 2.1. I'm going to run it at 1920 by 1200 at the default settings. This benchmark makes heavy use of DirectX 11, especially tessellation features, which if, you, if you've seen any of the earlier videos we went over, but today we're just going to see what kind of performance we can get. So I used some of Agent Tiny's energy drinks to fast forward this benchmark, and you can see that I get 56.5 frames per second. Now a GTX 480 gets about 45 frames per second, so you're looking at about 10 FPS increase. So there it is, the EVGA GTX 580 graphics card. For more information on this product, please visit our website at www.evga.com or be a part of our community at forums.evga.com. Thanks again, and I will see you next time. Uh, before I forget, don't go home tonight, she knows.